Hey everybody, it's Chris with Xano, and today I'm super excited to share with you real-time collaboration features inside Xano that are a part of our larger Function Stack version 2 update. Real-time collaboration allows you to seamlessly edit your APIs and functions alongside your team, just like a Google Doc. This includes features like real-time presence and global presence, which allows you to see where everybody is, quickly navigate to them, and even communicate right inside Xano. This also includes real-time updates, which means you no longer have to refresh your page when someone else makes a change on a function stack. Everything populates automatically. Let's go ahead and take a look inside Xano so I can show you these features in action. So the first thing I'm going to show you as part of this new update is the collaboration panel. You can see over here on the left-hand side, we have a new indicator that says users, and it says there are three users present in our workspace. So when we click on this, you can see that we are presented with a panel. We see there are three users working inside of this workspace right now. We can also see their emails, and we also have a path, and this link is clickable, which will take you directly to where this other person is inside of your Xano workspace. This is also where the secure chat takes place. So if I want to send a message to the other users who are working alongside me, I can just say hello in my chat box. And you can see there's a notification in the lower left-hand corner, and this also appears in the collaboration box. This is not meant as a replacement for whatever communications platform you and your team prefers, but it does give you a super easy way to chat securely very quickly about what's happening inside of Xano. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to head over to our APIs so we can demonstrate the rest of these team collaboration features. So let's take a look at our auth signup endpoint. So the first thing I would like to draw your attention to is you can see in the upper right-hand corner here, my initials have been placed next to the run and debug button. This is part of the real-time presence feature that we've added to this update, which will show you what other users are working on the same page that you are. You can click on these to get quick access to the collaboration panel or just see a full list of who else is working on this page. And you can see this has changed. There are now three of us working on this page. I actually have two tabs open with this same API. And if I close the other tab, we can give it just a moment here and we will see this update. And now I've disappeared. And now it is just myself and Sean. Now I am actually going to open that tab back up so we can take a look at real time updates inside Xano. If you've worked with your team in Xano in the past, you are probably aware of the pain that is having to refresh your browser window every time someone adds a change. That is no longer the case. You do not have to refresh your browser anymore. So in my second tab here, I'm going to add a new function to this function stack. And let's just create a new variable. And I'm going to call this wow. And we will save this. And now let's go back to our other tab. And you can see that create variable step has already populated in the first tab. We did not have to refresh for this. I can take this variable and I can drag it up to step one, go over to the other tab, and you can see that that has already applied. And we can even check this out side by side so you can get a better idea of exactly what's happening. If I take my get record step and I drag it up to the top, you can see that has updated on the right hand side. If I take this create variable and I drag it down to the fourth step of the function stack, you can see that has updated on the left hand side. If we scroll up to the top, I can actually add an input updates. And you can see that has populated in the other tab. So the next feature that I want to showcase is access control for functions inside of the function stack. So what if you and another team member are working on the same function stack and you want to edit the same function? Well, on the left-hand side here, let's go ahead and open this Git record. And first I'd like to point out that you can see my initials have actually shown on the function stack on the right-hand side. So this indicates that I am actually editing this function. And if I'm the user on the right-hand side and I actually want to edit this function as well, you can see that I'm prompted to request access because this is currently being edited. So I can go ahead and click request access. And then you can see on the left-hand side, the other user is prompted to either allow that access or to ignore the request. So if we grant access, you can see we are no longer editing on the left-hand side and we are free to edit on the right-hand side. And just to show you one more time, you can see that my initials have been placed on the top right corner of this function. 
I can request access. On the other tab, I can grant access, and now I am able to edit from the left-hand side. So there is never a concern about overwriting someone else's changes inside of a specific function. I know that was a lot, so just a recap. On the left-hand side, we now have access to our collaboration panel, which will show you all of the users that are working inside of your Xeno instance. We've also added chat to this window, so you can quickly communicate with other users who are present in your workspace, as well as the opportunity to quickly navigate to wherever they are working. This is also available next to the Run and Debug button. You can click on the user initials and see a quick list of who else is working on this page, as well as access to the collaboration panel. User presence is now noted on each function. So if I access this function here, we can see on the other window we have open that my initials appear on that function. And we have also added access control to these functions. So if another user wants to edit a function that you are working on, they can request access and easily begin working on that same function. Those are all of our team collaboration updates that come along with Function Stack V2. We're super excited to enable you to work much more efficiently with your team. If you have any questions, please be sure to reach out to us via support chat inside Xano. You can also speak to us on the Xano community or feel free to leave a comment on this video. We can't wait to hear what you think about the new updates. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.